So there, there certainly has been a rebound and, and certainly volatility has uh, tamped down somewhat. But I want to take a look at the correlation between different sectors within the S&P 500. Uh, if you take a look at the Bloomberg here, you can see uh, it really uh, hit a low, at least for the recent uh, cycle in 20, at the end of last year. Uh, but it has been coming up throughout this market route. Uh, this is raising some red flags to some investors saying, OK, this represents hot money, fast flows, max bets and could signal more volatility ahead. Do you read anything into this or is this just noise? Well, I think correlations were, were um, uh, you know, and equities were extremely low, which is why we were getting all the sector rotation all last year when one sector would sell off, another would be bought. And so that kept equity volatility extremely low as the market kept rising. So that's probably not sustainable for long periods of time. And we probably will get more volatility in markets, it's likely, over the next 12 months, because probably bond yields will continue to edge higher in uh, global developed markets. Did you buy on the dip? Uh, we didn't buy, um, but we didn't really sell risk assets, because we've seen in the past that risky assets have generally um, sold off when there's um, sharp moves up in yields, like after the Sintra episode in June. But then they rapidly recover once yields start to stabilize a little bit. I think this is ultimately going to be more a bond market story. Let's turn for a moment to Europe versus the United States, because we've already seen that Europe has not come back as fast as mm -hmm. U.S. Has. Here's another chart that shows it a different way, which is basically the estimated dividend yield in the S&P versus the stock 600. Mm -hmm. And you'll see the blue line is Europe which indicates that the European equities actually are undervalued compared to U.S. equities. What is that about? Why is that? Uh, you know, I think European markets um, have frequently done this. They're, they're more volatile than U.S. markets. They, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll sell off more. Um, but I would say that, you know, ultimately European markets should recover and outperform the U.S. over the next couple of years. They're cheaper than the U.S. and their growth prospects are a lot better.